Okay, this is one of the early forms of a uh, pilot relight system in case the pilot went out. This is a spark uh, coil. Power is fed in through these two terminals and it's raised up to eight or ten thousand volts, comes out of here and sparks across a gap in this pilot assembly. This is just a little electric pilot assembly. Um, and I don't have the part that fits right here, but that's the part where the gap is. And it uh, lights the burner, the pilot burner right here. You get a little closer in that thing and... Okay, now you can see the gas, pilot gas is coming out of here. goes up this way to light the burner, goes back here and hits a bimetal. Now that bimetal when it heats up it warps and as it warps it makes a switch. This switch here where these wires are this is a normally open switch and if there's no pilot then this thing is open. When the pilot's on it closes and allows main gas to come on. So this is, uh, it's just a pilot relight system. It's nothing special. Uh, a lot of them are used in commercial rooftop units that tend to get their pilots blown out. And this would relight the pilot. And if for some reason the spark could not, the spark here could not relight it, then uh, it would shut off main gas because it would lose the power uh, from this normally open switch. So when that bimetal co cooled down, it would shut it off and the uh, main gas would go off. Just a very simple one. There's another one of these that has three wires coming out of it. If I can manage to come up with one of those, uh, I'll go over it. These things, uh, troubleshooting on them, very commonly they will uh, stick and they won't make. If you tap the silly thing with a screwdriver uh, and it lights off, then that was your problem. Uh, it needs to be replaced. Uh, it'll do it again. So in any case with these things, if for some reason they do not want to light off uh, and the pilot is there, the pilot's blue, it's not yellow or anything, that will have to be replaced. And remember as always, when you work with these gas parts, uh, you're going to have to take the pilot tube off of here and when you put it back on you got a leak check to make sure the silly thing is not leaking. Now this, this is an orifice. Now, very very small, very tiny. These things get replaced whenever these pilots get replaced and these things, you just pretty much can't clean them I'm not sure how you'd manage to clean something like that. It is so tiny, a number 80 drill bit won't even do it. Uh, you can see through them. If you look very close, you can usually see through them. But uh, these things sometimes will cause a yellow flame. Uh, and it, the yellow flame is not going to prove the pilot properly. It's probably not going to go over it and hit that biometal. So look to see if it's yellow. If it's yellow, uh, you might take the thing off and clean it up and uh, you can kind of see that hole in there if you hold that just right you can see that hole um, but go ahead and take the pilot off uh, take out the orifice uh, you can sometimes put yeah I wouldn't put anything metal through this but uh, you might be able to stick a toothpick or something through it to get anything cleared up and it may work once you're done there but uh, that's about it for these pilots. Uh, just remember when the reassembly is done that you're going to have to make sure that this part, which is what hooks on to the, the pilot tube, which is an aluminum quarter inch tube, this part is prone for leaking. And so be sure you get it tight, tightened up, check it with soap bubbles, make sure the silly thing does not leak at all. If you can't get it to seal a little bit, let me see if I can get a little closer in this one too. 
a little bit of uh, pipe dope right here just a little bit not very much a little bit of pipe dope you can put it on the threads if you want it doesn't seal the threads but it'll make them uh, move a little smoother uh, but a little bit of pipe dope right there will sometimes seal them when they don't want to seal okay and that is the pilot assembly uh, used on carrier uh, day night pain uh, Bryant uh, that's about the only company I ever saw use that thing uh, but it was out there for probably about 10 years and so that's a pilot relight